Hello, I'm Stephanie Schweitzer-Dixon and I'm the owner of SSD Consulting and I want to introduce to you our business and the webinar series that we have offered here through our company. I am a suicidologist, I'm a mental health educator, a suicide prevention trainer, and I have been doing this for over 13 years and when I started doing that I was the director of a nonprofit organization with the very same similar mission. And when I did that, I learned through a lost team, which responds with law enforcement to the scene of where a suicide has occurred, that, you know, the struggles that people have, they're, they're very intense. The trauma that they go through, very intense. It's like no other. And with suicide, with a mental health crisis, it is, it's, it's a very difficult time, as you know, as you are listening, probably, to learn more about that and how to prevent that. So through the education that we're offering, through the trainings that we're offering, which is offered to school counselors, first responders, educators, parents, people who just want to know, like I said, how to prevent this. That is what I do. That is my expertise. And I bring that to you in an upcoming series of trainings and education that, well, I can do that in person. You know, our country is going through an unprecedented time where we're doing a lot of things virtually. We're offering that in that modality as well right now. So what we're doing is our first webinar is going to be free and we're going to talk about the warning signs, the behavioral clues, the statements that our young people make when they're struggling, when they may be going through a suicidal crisis and what those statements can be sometimes the obvious ones, sometimes the subtle ones. And when they make those statements or when they act in certain ways, you know, what's typical adolescent development and what's not so typical adolescent development in statements that they make. And when we should ask, you know, are you okay? You may get a response that you aren't too sure and you should ask, are you having thoughts of suicide? And with that really difficult question, that's the way we have to ask that question. There are actually certain ways that you should not ask that question. And it's important to know that, and through no fault of anybody who hasn't taken this level of education, if you ask it the wrong way, we don't want to make anybody feel that they've done things wrong. It's just we need to learn this type of thing. It's not something we learn in school. It's not something a lot of counselors and psychologists learn in college and that is why this type of education is so crucial and it's so important to have and so we will also offer additional trainings i offer a raft of different types of educational tools for many different types of professionals and so visit my website visit my social media sites and if you are also interested in learning some of the types of knowledge, skills, and other consulting services that I offer, I do have a blog session section on my website. You can certainly visit that as well to learn more about what I do, what my skill set is, what I can offer you, so that you can see for yourself what I can do to provide you with as you maybe navigate these very difficult times in our country, in our lives, in the lives of the people that you care for, you take care of, or your family, your friends. Because many, many, many times when professionals take my trainings, they will tell me during those trainings or connect with me afterwards and say, it helped me save a life. It helped me with a family member. It will help me with a family member. And so know that what you're learning will help somebody. Like I said, keep in touch through our upcoming newsletter that we're going to have, which you will be able to access through our website and our social media sites so that you can learn what we have coming up on our webinar series. And also regularly stay tuned through our social media sites and check back on our website for 
new and upcoming informational series as well as new trainings that I add. As the world is evolving now virtually and will continue to evolve virtually, we will keep that information coming through an online platform. So I thank you for your time. I thank you for your interest. I look forward to working with you, whether it be in the suicide prevention field, in the postvention field after a death by suicide, which is something I also offer. Or like I said, when I started, I worked for a nonprofit for over 13 years, and I can help organizations with that skill set as well. So once again, thank you, and I look forward to seeing you on our first webinar, which like I said, it's free, so be sure to, to sign up for that so you can get a feel for the information and skills I have to offer to any organization, any family, any first responder who is in need of some extra knowledge to help them along the way. Thank you again.